do what they need to do. Iran would be an excellent partner in this. I would encourage Iraq to invite Iran in to help them wipe them out because Iran definitely has an interest in ending real terrorism and that's why the foreign minister all too rightly said we're not convinced that America is serious about it. I think he's way too diplomatic quite frankly but at the end of the day the United States is not serious about ending terrorism. It thrives on terrorism and many Americans are growing up to understand this. So what scenario is this setting up, uh, uh, Ken, if we're looking at on the one hand as you said that the United States does not really want to uh, end terrorism. On the other hand, they are directly once again involved in the region, not that they were not in the region, but now more directly in Iraq and, and again in Syria. What is this setting up? Tell me, how do you see this um, uh, basically? Uh, how are you reading what is going to happen with the United States getting involved with this situation with ISIL? What is it? Do you think that they really want well, to destroy them because uh, perhaps uh, they have served their purpose? Or no, do they just want to see this chaos continue in the region? Chaos in the region is extremely advantageous. The Project for a New American Century and, and Clean Break, an important document to read. Also, Oded Yanan's a Strategy for Israel in the 1980s made it very clear that Iraq was target number one because of its strong Arab nationalist dictatorship. Um, and, and ultimately, in the overall scheme, you have this fantasies agenda of greater Israel, Israel expanding as the next empire into Iraq, into Syria, Lebanon, also a part of Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Egypt. This is their goal, and it is the psychopath's goal. So right now, all of this chaos that you see in that region fits perfectly in line with strategy papers. The policy is being carried out exactly as it was written and the seeds of sectarian hatred and divide which are necessary to fracture the people of the region so that you'll be in a weakened state and therefore be subject to the real intention and the goal which is again to expand the Israeli empire. Ultimately this is all going to fall flat on its face but right now the chaos that is being sown is extremely advantageous for the powers that be. All right, I'd like to thank you Mr. Ken O'Keefe, former U.S. Marine out of London and uh, Mr. Ayers, former U.S. intelligence officer, unfortunately felt that he could not continue to participate in this debate. So that is unfortunate because we always like to have a debate and two sides to um, what we're presenting. Anyway, thank you so much, viewers, for being with us on another debate. I'm Mary Zia Hashimi signing out for myself and all the crew right here in Tehran. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. Well, I hope you have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, enjoyed the presentation today that we have made for you on the deadly experiment. These programs that we produce now, of course, are reaching many, many new viewers worldwide, as we mentioned on uh, Livestream.com, Rick Adams Uncensored. Look up Rick Adams Uncensored. That is the name of our radio broadcast on the Republic Broadcasting Network. And so this program today, the video you've just seen, is one cog in the wheel of the understanding that it will take for you to survive the days that are coming. I mean, we are now not speaking of years before the end, the end of this whole world system when Jesus returns, but we are now speaking in terms of months. And I don't mean three or four months, but it could be 20, could be 40 months, whatever. We are speaking of this last generation that Jesus spoke of to his disciples, and they didn't even understand all of what he was saying. Only us today in this generation with the guidance of the Holy Spirit can now see what he was saying. What he was saying was this tree planted in Jerusalem, the tree of death, the tree meaning Satan's children, Satan's progeny would plant this tree, this tree called Jerusalem, the bad fig. And the bad fig, of course, Jesus denounced for the reasons that it would be the courier of end time prophecy. All evil will be concentrated in that regime in the Middle East that occupies Jerusalem and is now doing that to complete that one world global entity. So folks, Thank you for watching us, The Deadly Experiment. Back next time, same channel, same World Wide Web site. Until then, Rick Adams, 
your producer and host, wishing you all a good week, and may Yahweh bless his elect.